Hey, good morning. It's uh, Monday, August 10th. The thought for this morning is how we can be confident in prayer. The disciples needed to know how to pray. In Luke 11, it records them asking Jesus to teach them how to pray. In Matthew 6, he's giving them instruction about what it means to trust God in prayer. So in the Sermon on the Mount, in the section where he's going to talk about prayer, he says, look, don't be like the people around you, the pagans and other people with their elaborate prayers, but rather pray this way. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. That's what I want to focus on. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. We're not bringing something new to God. We don't have to inform him. Yes, we cry out to him. Yes, we ask for him for hope. That's true. But God knows what we need. So I'm praying to someone who is committed to me, who knows what my real needs are, and I can trust him. So just these opening lines of the prayer. This is how you should pray. This is Jesus talking. This should grip our hearts. This is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, or holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Those are the words spoken of Christ to his disciples, framed with these words. Your Father knows what you need before you even start asking. Totally consistent with the knowledge that God has of us and tells us about in Psalm 139. There is tremendous peace here for us, hope for us. If you want to use a common term, there is stress relief here for us because we are speaking to the God who loves us. But rather than take comfort in the fact that God is there, he hears us, and he's committed to bringing his will to be on earth as it is in heaven, that great confidence of the Lord of the universe, we look for other ways to relieve our stress. We look for other ways, places of comfort. Yes, those words are nice. Yes, they're the Lord's Prayer. Yes, many of us can recite them word for word, but does the meaning strike home? Or do we ask God for relief? Do we ask God to care for us? Do we ask him to meet us at our time of stress, grief, worry, anxiety, whatever it is, and then we keep looking? But are practically, we're looking for something else to meet our needs. Practically, we're looking for, it's kind of the craze has kind of died down now, but we're looking for these little fidget spinner thingies to take care of us. Just as it does in the world around us, we, we're fascinated by the wrong things. The fact that this thing can turn around rapidly as it's doing, that doesn't bring me any peace. It distracts me perhaps, but it doesn't point me towards the God who is there. See, eventually the fidget spinner will do this. It'll stop and then we'll have to go do this thing all over again. And we come back to it again and again, all we're left with is flipping the wheel again. What God wants us to see is that he knows what we need, he's calling to us, we can have peace. Remember we talked about in Proverbs chapter three, instead of all your ways acknowledge him and all your ways desire his presence because he knows what you need. He's committed to care for you and he's committed to bring his great will to be here on earth. So in all what appears to be chaos, it's not. God is behind all of this so that he will be honored and praised for who he is, both in the world around, but also in the hearts of his people. Pray with confidence today that your God knows what you need. Seek first his kingdom, his righteousness, his goodness. And the way of the fidget spinner, you won't need this. What you'll be, what you'll be content with is knowing that the will of God is being done 
He cares for you. He loves for you. He loves you. He's committed to you. That, brothers and sisters, is peace, and that leads to confident prayer that will heal us. Think about that this day, and have a great day, and we'll see you tonight. Thanks again for being here. Lord bless. Bye-bye.